Hi, welcome to Tasha's Library. Today's video is going to be a birthday book haul. I've recently had my birthday and I have bought myself some books and I've been gifted some books, so I thought I'd show you. The first three books were given to me by my mum and the first one is A Disney Twisted Tale, Reflection. And this one has the tagline, what if Mulan had to travel to the underworld? Sounds pretty good. It's when Captain Chang is mortally wounded in battle, Mulan must travel to the underworld, do you, in order to save him from certain death. But King Yama, the ruler of Diyu, is not willing to give Shang up easily. With the help of Shang's great line guardian, Shishi, Mulan must find Shang's spirit and leave by sunrise or become King Yama's prisoner forever. Mulan, still disguised as the soldier Ping, wrestles with the decision whether or not to reveal her true identity to her closest friend. This sounds really good. I love Mulan so much and I like retelling, so I think this should be a really fun read. And she also gave me The Wolf and the Woodsman by Ava Reed, and oh, I'm so excited about this one. It sounds so, so good. The tagline is, a spirited outcast, a disgraced prince, a world where monsters roam three. So in her forest-veiled pagan village, Evika is the only woman without power. So when soldiers from the Holy Order of Woodsmen arrive to claim a girl for their king's blood sacrifice, she is betrayed and surrendered. But when they are attacked en route to the capital and everyone but Evike and a lone woodsman are slaughtered, they have no choice but to rely on each other. Except he's no ordinary woodsman. Of course not. He's the disgraced prince, Gaspar Barani, whose father needs pagan magic to consolidate his power. Sounds so good. Once again, another retelling. And the final one that my mum gave me was Eversion by Alistair Reynolds. And so this is a sci-fi tagline is a deadly mystery, a dangerous exploration, an astonishing adventure. All group of intrepid explorers are in search of a remote and mysterious artifact. It's a well-funded expedition, well-organized, which is lucky as they're sailing north of Bergen on the schooner Demeter, searching for a narrow inlet, which will lead them to a vast uncharted lake and their goal until disaster strikes. So this sounds really good. I mean, I love those sorts of adventure stories where things can go really wrong and it's got zeppelins. <laughs> what more can I say? It has a zeppelin. Sounds good. This is my first Alistair Reynolds. I've been really looking forward to his works and I think this is gonna be a good start. I bought myself three books, kind of unofficially for my birthday. I sort of ordered them and then decided to, as they arrived, to hold on to them, not open the packages until my actual birthday because then it was kind of cool. I had three more gifts. I mean, you can't complain with that, right? So the first one I got was Six Crimson Cranes by Elizabeth Lynn. Um, and oh, the cover of this is just so beautiful. And once again, I think it's a very fairy tale-esque book, A Princess in Exile, Six Enchanted Cranes, An Unspeakable Curse. And from what I've heard of this is it's basically this princess who is cursed in such a way that whenever she speaks, one of her brothers will die. So for every word that escapes her lips, one of her brothers will die. And so she then has to try and break the curse, I guess. Come. It sounds good. And oh, the cover is so beautiful. Also bought myself Spinning Silver by Naomi Novak. And I've been wanting to read these. And now I've heard mixed reviews about Uprooted. But generally the reviews on Spinning Silver tend to be a lot more consistently good. So I've sort of gone with that. And this is Miriam is the daughter of her village as money lender, but poverty beckons as her father's too kind hearted to collect his debts. So Miriam hardens her own heart and takes up his work and her success creates rumors that she can turn silver into gold, which attracts the fairy king of winter himself. And he sets her an impossible challenge. And if she fails, she dies. 
Yet if she triumphs, a fate worse than death awaits. So that sounds really good. Um, I believe it's sort of a retelling of Rumpelstiltskin. Yeah, now I've noticed that all my books are pretty much retellings for my birthday. So yeah, but I like retellings. And the final book I got myself is Phil Pullman's the dark, his dark materials. Now I got this in a bind up of the three novels. So Northern Lights, The Subtle Knife and The Amber Spyglass. It's a really nice hardcover. And I just fell in love with a little wolf on the cover. So I think it's a wolf. I don't know, because I have to confess, I have not read his dark materials. And that's why I bought this. And yeah, so I'm really like kind of looking forward to this. I don't know much about it. But from this, it says Northern Lights introduces Lyra, an orphan who lives in a parallel universe in which science, theology, and magic are entwined. Lyra search for a kidnapped friend and covers a sinister plot involving stolen children and turns into a quest to understand a mysterious phenomenon called dust. So, I mean, this is a classic. I really should be reading this. It's my birthday haul. Thank you so much for watching. If you like my videos, please subscribe and like, share, and see you next time. May the books be with you.